here. Today we are talking about Son of a Preacher Man by Dusty Springfield, which I also uh, think I heard maybe even first sampled uh, by Cypress Hill. So before we even get into it, um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel and share this or any videos that you think people might be interested in. Um, I appreciate your support. And again, let's, uh, we'll zoom in and get into this fun, funky tune. So I'm going to go over the main stuff, kind of the meat and potatoes. I'm not going to break down every single riff I did, frankly, because I probably don't even remember half of what it was because I make a lot of stuff up. I show you these songs in a way that you can just play along, um, but I really want you to make your own riffs out of the chords and the scales. But there are some that I think are essential that I'm going to break down for you. Now, the song's in the key of E, which is our seventh fret on the A string. So for the intro, I'm starting on seven on the A, and then I'm doing a hammer on between seven and nine on the D. And then I end up on the ninth fret of the G string. Go back down to nine and seven. Okay, so and I might even play do 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 do. You hear like sometimes in that intro that I'll actually go to the higher note twice. And then there's this cool thing where you're sliding from the nine to the 11 on the A string, then nine on the D, back to the 11 on the A. So, so the intro, That, I think, is something that we should definitely know because it's going to happen 
You know, that's very distinct. And again, that's the sample from the Cypress Hill song I was talking about. But most of the time, okay, in the song, you're either going between the notes E and A, which is seven on the A string and seven on the D string, or sometimes I'll play A down here, which is the fifth fret of your E string. So, you hear that? That's me playing the E, A, E. And then it'll go E to the seventh fret on the E string, which is B. So, and then I stay on this B note for a while. And when I'm on this B note, then I'll do these riffs where I'll play this a lot, where I'll go from the seven to nine on the A string. So starting on seven on the E, and I go seven, nine, nine, and then back up. So I'll get this hand in here so you can see it. All those things inside of that B riff anytime you play B. So that's the whole verse, okay? And then for the chorus, do 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 A E E A E E B A E Right? Or in numbers, that's seven. Seven, 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 low seven, five. Okay, and I'll throw in some other riffs. And those are all just notes from that chord. So I'll give you one example. Seven, seven, seven. I stole this riff from the intro. And then, <laughs> right? So the do, 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 Okay, that's the chorus. Um, again, it's all E's and A's and B's, right? Um, and I won't get too specific because, like I said, I play all kinds of different stuff in there, but... And I'm going to play real slow, some kind of, like, stuff that I do. that can be played over the chorus. Very cool. And there's another verse that's kind of a shorter version of the first verse. I'm doing a lot of the same riffs. So there's this other spot where it changes keys. The da 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 Right? So that is actually going to go from the note D, which is the fifth fret on the A string. To A, which is the fifth fret on E, and then the seventh fret on E, taking time to me, uh -huh, which is the note B, and then I go to seven on A, which is E, and you can get away with just playing those notes if you want. So. Okay, 
okay? And then what I'm doing at the end there, there's one more chorus in this new key. So I'm going from the note A, but I'm playing the octave. So the seventh fret on the E string, or sorry, the seventh fret on the D string, and then I'm playing the seventh fret on the G string for the note D. And then I go from seven on D to seven on A to five on A, and that's the oh yes he was. So here it is with my bad humming. Okay, and then we get to go a little bit crazy at the end. I'm really going between A which is nine or sorry which is seven on the D and then D which is seven on the G so and there's all that stuff that I just keep doing over and over again and this is again from that little pentatonic riff so I slide up to seven or from seven to nine to eleven to nine to eleven have to end up on was the son of a preacher man right and really it's one two you really get like kind of uh, three beats to do whatever you want But if it's any of those notes in that scale, you can't go wrong. Or here's another variation. But do you see the main ingredient is that I have to be do, 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 and then anything else is just fun. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. MattLaBarberMusic.com. Please like and subscribe and share, and I will see you in the future. Happy basing.